The once formidable Iranian Air Force, starved of spare parts for its 1970s-era American-built fighters, is unlikely to effectively challenge U.S. air superiority. Instead Iran has doubled down on a diverse array of surface-to-air missile SAMs, systems in its Air Defense Force IRIADF, as well as the Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. Together, these form an integrated air defense system that can tackle threats approaching at different ranges, speeds and altitudes, aided by powerful over-the-horizon surveillance radar described in this article. Iran maintains numerous SAM systems imported from the United States and Europe half a century ago, but lacks access to spare parts and new missiles. Tehran has been able to acquire modest numbers of SAMs from China and Russia. Therefore, to fill in the quantity and modernity gap, Iranian engineers have studiously reverse-engineered and produced modernized domestic variants of the older systems. Initial Iranian spin-offs are often direct clones. But in the last decade, the Persian spin-offs feature significant improvements including increased range, digital fire control systems and electro-optical fire control systems that provide a short-range backup if their radars are jammed. Arguably, the easiest way to understand the various Iranian SAMs is by identifying which foreign SAM system they're evolved from and which layer air defense system they belong to. Complicating matters is that Iran tends to use one name for the missile and a different one for the system of radars and launchers that launch the missile. Furthermore, Iran's more modern launch systems tend to be designed to launch multiple types of missiles. Long-range SAMs can track attackers from long distances, threaten non-agile aircraft over 100 miles away and at high altitudes, and potentially knock down ballistic missiles. The Rode Mobile Radar-guided S-300 PMU-2 favorite was Russia's premier air defense system until succeeded by the S-400. It can engage up to 36 aircraft simultaneously up to 120 miles away using a mix of long and medium range missiles. How Iran got them, in 2007 ordered five batteries of S-300 PMU-1s, but sanctions compelled press. Medvedev to cancel delivery in 2010, though Iran still managed to acquire a 30N6 radar and components the Iranian spin-off. In 2011, Tehran announced it would make its own S-300, the Baber 373, which uses the Sayyid 3 or 4 missiles derived from American Standard Missile. The Baber 373 supposedly has a range of 155 miles. In 2015, Russia also delivered four S-300 PMU-2 batteries following Iran's accession to the JCPOA nuclear deal, currently deployed in Tehran, Isfahan, and Bushehr. Other notable assets, Iran has 30 Soviet-era S-200 Vega E, SA-5, long-range missile systems on heavy fixed launchers deployed at Tehran, Bandar Abbas, Hamadan, and Esfahan. Though dated, they have a range of 150 miles and a blistering maximum speed of Mach 6 and have been modernized to the Faj Raid and Gera standards with solid-state electronics and increased range. The bottom layer. Short-range air defense systems protect frontlines troops and critical bases against low-flying, under 20,000 feet, helicopters, drones and attack aircraft, and potentially cruise missiles. However, they can't intercept high-flying jets using precision-guided munitions. The Crowtail Short-Range SAM
Crotail is a French 1970s-era radar-guided system deployed on ground vehicles and ships. How did Iran get them? In 1979 China imported a few Crotails for evaluation and by the 1980s had reverse-engineered them into a SAM called the HQ-7 FM-80. The Iranian spin-off, in 2002, Iran showed it had reverse-engineered the HQ-7 into the Shahab back f Then in 2013, it entered the Yazara short-range air defense system and the HERS-9, protector, self-propelled variant. Other notable assets. Iran has British 1970s-era optically guided rapier self-propelled systems with a range of 5 miles. In 2007, Iran acquired 29 Tor M1 self-propelled missile systems from Russia. Tehran also fields the laser-guided Kim anti-helicopter missile, derived from the American TOW anti-tank missile. Iran also possesses large quantities of anti-aircraft artillery ranging from Cold War 23mm cannons and 100mm KS-19 guns to indigenous automated closed defense Gatling cannons. The Standard Missile the RIM-66 SM-1MR was a medium-range canister launched surface-to-air missile system installed on U.S. Navy warships beginning in the late 1960s, with a range of 22 miles. Iranian spin-off. In 2013, Iran unveiled the Sayyid-2 Hunter, which is visibly evolved from the SM-1 and very fast with a maximum speed of Mach 4.5 and range of 46 miles. It can be fired from the truck mobile Talosh, Endeavor, and corded 15 air defense systems, which can engage six targets simultaneously. The latter downed a USRQ-4N drone in June 2019, using a Sayyid 2C Iran possesses a mix of both obsolete and modern imported SAMs and modern indigenous designs. The latter benefit from multiple radars and network launch platforms and are hardened versus countermeasures, though none are top tier by international standards. Massed together, Iran's air defenses provide Tehran with a degree of deterrence because they increase the difficulty, expense and time required to launch air attacks on Iran particularly from regional actors. They pose a threat to non-stealth fighters unless suppressed and can deny Iranian and Persian Gulf airspace to less agile aircraft like the RQ-4N drone shot down in June 2019. However, Iran's SAMs won't stop a concentrated air campaign from a power able to muster a combination of standoff range missiles, electronic warfare and stealth aircraft. These have historically systematically dismantled air defense networks in Iraq, Lebanon and Libya. Today, Syria's large air defense network is proving ineffectual at preventing Israeli airstrikes, despite an injection of relatively modern Russian SAMs.